talk a little bit about getting uh, some nice edges. So here we are. I've got um, some chenille and boucle on here, and I'm just going to go through my weaving process. I'm going to pull my shuttle through, and we'll go through from the other direction first, and I'll show you exactly what I'm doing where you can see on this side. So I'm in a down shed. I'm going to put my shuttle through. And this is the same if you're using a boat shuttle or a stick shed. So I'm going to place my weft here. Now my weft is snug against that very end uh, warp, but it's not pulling it in. If I pull it in, you can see it's coming in there. I'm going to have draw in. It's going to put a lot of pressure on the um, on the warp. So I'm going to pull that out. So when I get it, let's just pull that out a bit here. The other thing I don't have is a loop left here. Because if I now press that into place, that loop is going to stay there. So right snug against that weft or that warp. And then I just come right below, I do a pinch and a pull. And you see that that caused a little bit of bubbling in here. And then I'm just going to press gently into place. Now when I pull my reed forward, I tilt it backwards a little bit. That allows me to see exactly what's going on in the front of my reed. So I can actually make sure too that the space is, is equal and not, I'm not off on an angle or something. So just pull it forward and I just press it one good firm press or light press depending on what your picks per inch are and that's all there is to it. Um, I'll show you something back when we're back at this end again. So I'm pulling my weft into place on that warp. I'm going to do a pinch and pull. Press everything into place. Change my shed. And when I get to this end, before I pull it in, I just adjust this and make sure it's going straight. Sometimes it's way up here a bit, sometimes it's coming down. I just pull it so that it's parallel to the thread below it. So one more time here where you can see. Send my shuttle through. Tucked right up to that warp, pinch and pull. Press into place, just one press, change the shed, and then I'll just straighten that out over on this side. And there you go, that's how I get my nice neat edges.